If you follow my channel, you've heard me talk about how to improve your Canon post-production workflow by using the Canon provided LUTs. And I just want to say, I'm really happy that a lot of you are finding these Canon workflow videos really helpful. So today, we're going to go through the steps needed to import a Canon provided LUT when you're working in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm sure there are plenty of videos out on YouTube that show you how to import a custom LUT when you're working with Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to focus specifically on the Canon provided LUTs and importing them into Final Cut Pro 10. The main reason is that Canon provides different types of LUTs that are used in different situations or with different pieces of software. The process of importing the LUT is actually pretty straightforward. Once you set up your project in Final Cut Pro 10, you import clips and you set up your timeline, you're actually ready to import that LUT. You'll need to open up the effects panel. Under the effects list, you select color. And from the thumbnails in the color section, you simply select custom LUT. All you have to do is select it and drag it and drop it right on top of the clip. That step will add the custom LUT effects controls to your video inspector. You'll see the LUT drop-down list, which by default is set to none. Expand the list and choose Select Custom LUT. From there, all you have to do is navigate to where you keep your LUTs and select the folder that contains the LUTs that you want to import. I keep my LUTs in the Documents folder, so I'm gonna go to Documents and then I'm going to select the Canon folder. Opening up the Canon LUT folder, I see two folders in there. One of them is a 1D LUT folder, the other is a 3D LUT folder. I've done a video on selecting the right Canon LUT for your project, and I'll be sure to link it up in the card above. Okay, we need to stop for just a quick moment. In Final Cut Pro 10, you must use the 3D LUTs that Canon provides. You are not able to use the 1D LUTs that Canon provides. They simply will not work, and you will see an error when you're trying to import them. When I open up the 3D LUT folder, I see three folders. A 17 grid, 33 grid, and 65 grid 3D LUT folders. So which one should you use? In super simple terms, think of the numbers from 17 all the way to 65 as 17 being the least accurate and 65 being the most accurate when remapping the tonal curve of what the actual image sensor captured to map it to the actual delivery color space. So whatever the sensor captured, it's then being remapped to whatever the delivery is, whether it be web, broadcast, cinema, or streaming services like Netflix. With that said, Rec. 709 is what most of us use when we're delivering to the web or to local broadcast. So if 17 grid is the least accurate and 65 grid is the most accurate, shouldn't we always use the 65 grid? No, 65 grid 3D LUTs are best used when one, you captured in RAW, and then two, you're going to be delivering in 4K or higher resolution to something like digital cinema. Another point about 65 grid 3D LUTs is that they require a lot of processing horsepower that more often than not actually results in your application crashing. So my recommendation is that for web delivery, including YouTube and including Vimeo or local broadcast, you use this 17 grid 3D LUT folder. But if you choose to experiment, be sure to let me know in the comments what it is that you found or what worked best for you, or if you can actually see the difference. Okay, so let's open up the 17 grid folder. Inside of that folder, we have three additional folders. We have a full to full, full to narrow, and narrow to narrow. The video I mentioned earlier about how to select the right Canon LUT for your project may come in handy when selecting which of these folders you should use for your project. So I'm going to select the full to narrow folder. And when I open it, we see a number of Canon provided LUTs. So I'm gonna actually back up a single step and select the entire folder. 
and I'm now going to click open. I'm getting a replace notification message because I've actually imported this folder previously. Okay, so now from the video inspector menu, when I expand the LUT options, I can see a full to narrow selection and hovering over it allows me to see all of the LUTs that are in that folder. So all I have to do is pick the LUT that I want to apply. It's really that simple. Be sure to let me know if you found the video to be helpful. Until next time, I'm Carlos with Media on Q, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care.